Hi, I'm Shamika Goddard, and I'm here to talk about my assignment that I did for a church history class at Union Theological Seminary in the city of New York. Um, so I had just watched a TED Talk by Sir Ken Robinson about changing educational paradigms, and it had exposed me to a number of provocative ideas about schooling in general, but one thing that really stood out was divergent thinking. Um, it's an essential component of creativity, but he defines it as the ability to see multiple answers to a question, multiple ways of even defining the question, and I thought, what if I could apply that kind of thinking to my theological education? So that encouraged me to pursue a project-based learning experience while in a quite traditionally structured course, Church History, and it the class assignments for that course were an essay and then a final exam, which was an essay form. And I thought there's a better opportunity here uh, to break the mold and experiment in a new way of learning. So I approached my professor and asked if I could do something else uh, besides the final exam. She was a little intrigued, but also nervous. Um, she wasn't sure if I would get approval from the dean. So I put together a proposal for a project where I would create a video using Google Earth uh, to map out a timeline of Martin Luther's life and I would also accompany it with an essay so there was something more a little more traditional to grade there and I was able to get that approved and once that happened I was really excited uh, to get started so one of the things that came out of that project was learning how to use Google Earth. I had used it intermittently but not substantiatively and being able to learn how to use Google Earth, figure it out, reach out to people online and Google things um, was really helpful as a budding technologist. I'm someone who likes to use technology and learning how to use it uh, for my career and so any opportunity to practice picking up a new skill like that is always appreciated. Um, and so besides learning how to use Google Earth, I was also able to learn more about Martin Luther's life and really solidify a lot of details that I probably would have just skimmed over um, had I been writing an essay or preparing for a final exam in essay format. So one of the things I did with the video, in addition to pinpointing different locations, was include text as well as images about those particular um, places. And being able to incorporate images, I got to look at a lot of artwork from the time or artwork about the time, the time period, and it was really helpful in being able to visualize that era and what was going on in Martin Luther's life. So that was that was really cool. I, I would not have been exposed to that either um, had I just been writing a traditional essay in the same way. So uh, coming out of the assignment, I felt like I had something that I could show to people and I had a project that I could um, point to to say this is what I've learned in my church history class and it could also help other people learning. Um, I thought about what if we had used Google Earth from the beginning of the class and everyone every week could just put one or two locations uh, in our collective Google Earth map and then by the end of the course we'd have this really great resource and and I got so many ideas like that and they were so uh, inspiring I thought maybe I could do this for other classes and um, have other kinds of ass assignments and so the digital humanities was something that um, really got me jazzed up about church history and which was super exciting so I was able to amplify my learning and create something I was truly happy with so I'm really grateful that my professor allowed me to do that and I am hoping that more people get the chance to do so.